Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna attempt to do a 60s inspired hairstyle and the hair that I'm using today is from Nadula Hair. It's a 22 inch 360 body wave lace front. I was wearing it earlier in like plait like braids so that's why there's like kind of a texture to it but it comes straight. Okay, so the key to this hairstyle is definitely hairspray. So the hairspray that I use was the Tiggy hairspray, the one that's like for high volume hair. So I just used it in the middle and then I used my rat tail comb to just tease it a lot. So you get that, you know, that iconic 60s bump. And just so y'all know, I've never attempted this. So this is me attempting this on camera. But to be honest, I'm not even mad. I feel like the only thing that I would have done differently was to actually secure the wig onto my head because <laughs> I look a fool like for like most of this video. So I just basically kept on adding hairspray and kept on teasing until the bump was like big enough because I have a big ass head so I felt like like first of all the top of my head's not even showing in this video i'm mad about that but my big ass head sometimes might overshadow the actual hairstyle so i just wanted to look as big as possible so now that i've teased it as much as i thought i needed to i'm just gonna smooth out the top without you know detangling everything that i worked so hard to create at this state, I kind of feel like the Love Witch, if y'all seen that movie, it's fire. So for the hair that I didn't tease, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it just because I'm wearing bangs and I want it to blend in and not look like two different continents, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm looking at this video like, Joycey, why didn't you just glue it down? But like, my nebgut, which means my laziness. <laughs> like, sorry. But like, the bang is gonna save everything. Y'all know that I always pull through at the end. I mean, I think I do. Honestly, I feel like the bangs really saved the look. I was gonna add the bangs anyways, like to be honest, but bangs really look good on me. Bangs look good on a lot of people who have big ass foreheads, I'm sorry. It just, it's like our beard. Okay, so this is definitely my favorite part of the whole look. And it's like the little side bangs that just go into curls. <laughs> seal the look, seal the look. So this is for the lazy girl out there, the one with the inner lazy person who just will not let them do anything that helps them succeed. Get you a scarf, it will save your life. <laughs> I'm not even playing. I really, I should just own like a scarf brand, a bouffant brand. Literally that's all I be wearing. If I'm not wearing wigs, I'm wearing a scarf or a bouffant. So that's basically the finished thing like honestly it's so cute the only thing that i'm gonna do after this is just curl the bottoms of the hair and just you know do some finishing touches but if you want to know about like the hair details i've been wearing it for like maybe a week or two now so i'm gonna just get into the specs and everything 
So since the hair is a 360 wig, it's got a lot of parting space, which is awesome for me. And honestly, the lace isn't too bad. It's just really light compared to my skin. And sometimes, you know, a girl has trouble blending in. So I did add baby hairs, so it does help shield the fact that it doesn't blend in. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a fan of the lace, to be honest. But the hair itself is really soft. I feel like the only con that I have about the hair is that... It gets matted in the back because it's, it's like pretty thick. It's not a thin wig. It's pretty thick for being 360. So I find myself having to comb through it or else it's going to be like bunched up in there. So I feel like that's the only con at this moment. And the lace blending into my skin tone. But honestly, bangs. <laughs> and also when I tell you this hair does hold a curl. It holds a curl like no other so I'm not mad about that I'm honestly thinking about doing a lot of like old Hollywood like different type of era looks with this wig so this is probably not gonna end up on my Depop because I can utilize it different looks I'm a look queen I'm sorry I am okay so that's the end of the video <sighs> I think I did a good job. I mean, practice makes perfect, right? Tell me what you guys think about the look in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.